we got asked so much to find some dupes for some high-end products. So we have gone hunting. We have done tons of research. We have found some amazing drugstore products that mimic or are even potentially better than the high-end brands. So we're gonna show you some of our favorites and show you how we use them and how they look when we're done. I'm using the Revolution Contour and Highlight in the color. I think it's just the Revolution Contour and Highlight. And I'm gonna use this on her face. I'm using the darkest side for contour. On the edge of her nose. And then right below her chin to create that really chiseled jawline. A little bit more. We like that. Chisel me up. Chiseled look. And then I'm just going to start blending this out upwards. And I'm kind of tapping it into her skin, not dragging it because that's just going to move product around and kind of separate your foundation, but tapping it into her skin is going to actually give you a much smoother and better look. Such a beautiful color. It really blends out well. And I'm just blending up into her hairline. And then I'm taking everything under her chin and I'm blending it downwards to give her a really sharp jawline. This also just really blends her coloring, which is really nice because she's very tan. Her face is a little bit more pale and her neck as well. So this really kind of evens that out. I actually kind of like this contour though. Dang. Nice. I'm going to have to go get this for myself. Why spend $30 on the makeup by Mario it's when true. you can literally get this and it's just as good, if not better. Mm -hmm. My makeup by Mario does not even blend as well as this. Mm, interesting. I'm pinching my brush when I'm doing her nose to make it very, very small and a little bit more controlled. And then I'm just tapping her contour in on both sides of her nose. And then I kind of bring it over the top as well. And then on her hairline, just blending everything upwards and in. Sure, this is making my hair look great. The only thing I would say is it's a little Beautiful. orange. Beautiful. <laughs> and then I feel like on the forehead, I always just kind of tap across the forehead just to make sure it's all very blended and she doesn't have a line on her forehead. I feel like most of the time that's the place where people have the harshest line when they're doing a intense contour. And so make sure you're really blending that out. So beautiful. I love it. I'm going to take the lighter side of the stick and I'm just going to put it above this kind of where you're going to put your bronzer at. It's going to give her a really beautiful bronzed highlight and I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the tip of her nose. I love what? it. You just moved my head with my well, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just pulled it. I'm sorry. I would. It's great. Blend that out a little bit. Oh, that's so beautiful. This product is so blendable and so creamy. It just goes into the skin perfectly. Another Revolution product. They honestly have been killing it. Such beautiful dupes. Mm -hmm. They are all so pretty. This is in the color Rose Gold. Just gonna get a little bit on my brush and tap it off. I'm just gonna lightly tap it onto her skin. Such a beautiful color. It kind of has these little, almost like glitter to it. And I think it's very beautiful. Kind of melts into your skin a little bit and leaves this shimmer when your face hits the sun and it's so pretty. I'm gonna set her makeup with the e.l.f. HD powder. e.l.f. has been killing it with their products. I just recently ordered some online that are still shipping to me. Cannot wait to share them with you because they are bomb. They'll probably be in our next dupe video. They're so good. And I'm just tapping this into her skin with a powder puff to set her concealer. And I'm gonna set under the eyes, her chin, 
her smile lines under her nose and then right between her eyebrows and just the center of her forehead. And then I'm also going to put this right below her contour just to give some differentiation to her face and really define that beautiful jawline and cheekbones. One of my favorite things about this powder is you can close where the powder comes out to make sure you're not getting powder everywhere when you're closing and storing it in your makeup so nice. bag. A lot of the really expensive powders I have don't have that feature and it is so annoying when powder is just loose in your bag. For sure. Gets it everywhere. For her brows, I'm gonna use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the color Ash Brown. One side has the application color. One side has the little spoolie to smooth out her brows and brush them all in the right direction. So that's what I'm gonna begin doing. And then I'm gonna go in with the product and just brush it lightly through her brows. This is the color match. Mm -hmm. It's cool toned, which I like. For her eyeshadow, we're just gonna do a really simple look and I'm gonna use that same contour stick. I'm gonna use the lightest side first, just going in with a little brush. And I'm just gonna tap that into her crease. And then I'm going to use one of my favorite Eyeshadow sticks. This is the elf no bud shadow stick. It's so pretty. This is in the color Pearl or I think it's perfect pearl Then I'm just gonna apply that to her inner and then drag it out to the center of her eye. There's a really beautiful shimmer And I think it just is so brightening to your eyes I use this in my inner corner a lot to get that like popping brightness and it stays so well and looks so beautiful. Now I'm just gonna blend that with my finger a tiny bit. Just tapping it into her skin. I'm gonna apply mascara. This is not a dupe product, but it is a clean product. Really been liking the Ilia mascara. Have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you have been though. I've been using it up. It applies beautifully and gives you really voluminous lashes. Oh, look at that difference. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna finish her look with my absolute favorite lip liner. This is the NYX lip liner in the color Nude Truffle. They have so many gorgeous colors. Should I be like every client? <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, ready? <laughs> Smile like this, Grace. <laughs> Perfect. I love these liners. They are seriously some of my favorites. I have them in my kit. I wear them personally every day. They're so good. Okay, I'm just gonna smudge this out a little bit with my finger and then I'm gonna finish it off with, again, one of my favorite NYX products. These are so good. It's the NYX Butter Gloss. It's so creamy. It's so hydrating and they have a, such a beautiful range of colors. Here's her finished look. We love these products. I feel like they're some of the best dupes for high-end brands. I even like some of them better than the high-end brands. Yeah. They have great formulas, they blend out really well, and I hope this was helpful and you can try a couple of them.